In this video, we are going to be drilling this bowling ball with this hammer and this chisel. If there's any hammer reps watching this, I would like my contract, please. I am using a hammer product. If you watch my other videos, you know that I sometimes use a hand drill because I think it's freaking hilarious. But I had some concerned bowlers in there urging others not to use a hand drill on their bowling balls. And I thought that was obvious. And if it wasn't, I said it in the video too. I do not recommend doing this. And in case it's still not obvious, please do not use a hand drill on your bowling balls. However, you should use a hammer and a chisel. 10 out of 10 doctors recommend it. It's scientifically proven to triple your rev rate. It makes you more accurate and it'll raise your average by at least 12 pins. No, but seriously, if you're taking bowling seriously, please do not copy anything I do in these videos. I'm just having fun on here. So with all that being said, could you please drop a like on this video? I hate asking for likes and you notice I never do, but apparently the algorithm on YouTube rewards you if there's more likes on a video. So let's test that out. Like this video, let's see what happens. Also, thank you to Michael and Matthew for signing up on the Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much. And yeah, let's get to this. Now I'm in a toga, which means the video makes way more sense. Or less sense, I don't know. We're laying this ball out five by four by three. Lines are perfect. And away we go. Ow. So I did actually drill this ball with a hammer and a chisel. If you just look at the holes, you can probably tell that I'm not lying. They're hideous. And if for some reason you still don't believe me, the full video is up on my other channel. If you want to watch that for whatever reason, I'm not sure why you might want to. I would imagine it's worse than watching paint dry. Although I am in a toga, so maybe it's kind of funny. I don't know, I wouldn't watch it. But if you happen to be in the guys that are wearing togas, drilling bowling balls with a hammer and chisel for an hour straight without really talking to the camera, and not doing anything else and there's no music and <laughs> I guess go ahead and go check that out because it's there and I've heard of worse things that people watch so <laughs> anyway let's go bull so we're here with the hand drilled or not hand drilled the hammer and chisel drilled bowling ball and we're gonna see what we can shoot this is my very first ball my very first shot with it. Holy crap. Hook. Oh, it's close. It kinda hurt. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hook a lot. Yeah, this is not gonna be very good. I had to drill the holes a little bit bigger because I didn't want to cut myself. And it's very hard to hold on to, very hard to get turned on it. Four. All right, we're getting this now. Oh, that's good. Come on! Hit! Finally! Six frames. The last three could have Shrek, honestly. I can punch for 224. Carry. That's right. 
hit. Come on. Look a lot, please. Oh, I threw it away, dude. I think I need to spare this for 200. Come on, hook. 188. Good. We're shooting 300. Hit. Carry. We're not shooting 300. Carry. Got that tin out. Push. 280, come on. Oh. Carry! Oh my god, that's way right. That's way right too. What am I doing, man? Oh my god, what am I doing? I almost ate 10, but I didn't, so I struck. <laughs> Come on, please. That cannot get much better than that. That's good. 201, baby. 188 and 201 with a hammer and chisel bowling ball. I think I might start drilling all my bowling balls this way. I think the hand drill is overrated and it needs to be put away. Hammer and chisel is where it's at. It felt so much more comfortable. My pitches were spot on. My span was absolutely perfect. And <laughs> All right, no, but it felt absolutely terrible. Do not do that. Please don't, please don't do that. That's it, bye.